Hi guys, this is Hamza from Imagine Art and I'm recording this tutorial today to show you guys how you can use Imagine Art to create engaging UGC style ads for your product, right? So the first thing that we're going to do is use Imagine Art in-house model Imagine Art 1.0 Pro to generate our model. So for that, I'm going to select this model. The aspect ratio that I'm going to select is 9 by 16 for mobile and uh, I'm going to prompt it to uh, give me a picture of a stylish Gen Z influencer girl sitting in her room under neon lights and we're going to click on create now of course these are um, details that I've shared it with if you have a different sort of a creator in mind if there's a specific style that you're looking for you can add that to your text prompt and it's going to give you the results accordingly right so I have some generations already so we don't have to wait for the generations to come out and um, you can see these were the kind of results that I got right um, I did a few iterations to finally end up on this particular um, creator, this particular UGC that I liked. What I did next was simply hovered on over this picture and clicked on edit. So you can see how my reference photo gets added over here. Next, I'm going to add an image of my product, right? And I'm going to click on create, right? The next prompt that we're going to add is to simply place the bottle of vibrant chrome hair dye in the model's hands as she looks at the camera smilingly and we're going to click on create right based on these are also some variations this was the variate tool that i used right if you hover over the picture and click on this button which is variate um, you can get different variations of the similar image right um, Next, I'm just going to hover over and show you the results that I got from the prompts. You can look at the, the same prompt over here. And these were the results that I got. You can see how it's maintained character consistency and placed my exact product into the hands of the model, right? Next, what we're going to do is um, we're going to use these images as a reference image uh, to bring it to life and convert it into a UGC style video where the character is saying something, right? For that, we're going to hover over this image and click on animate, right? Once I click on animate, you can see how I get moved over to the video generation panel. Uh, my image gets added over here and uh, I'm going to use the model Google VO 3.1, right? So we, uh, to get the character to state a specific kind of a dialogue, we are going to use a method of prompting, which is called a format of prompting, which is called the JSON format. To develop that prompt, I'm going to move on over to ChatGPT, and I'm going to give it uh, an image of my character, also an image of my product. All of both of these, I'm going to upload, and I'm going to give the platform a prompt. Um, this is my UGC model and an image of my product. Generate a detailed JSON prompt to get the model. Uh, JSON prompt. Actually, I'm going to write a detailed JSON prompt for VO 3.1 to get the model to say something about the product. And we're going to say give it some additional context by saying the video length is eight seconds and make sure the lip syncing is accurate and we're going to click on create now in a minute you're going to see what the json format of prompting looks like so as you can see over here i've gotten this particular format is called the json format right it's it's the same as a normal text prompt except the format has been uh, set in a way that allows better prompt adherence for these video models, right? Uh, this format, this prompt has been generated based on the reference image that I've shared it with and it's going to complement my reference image, right? So I'm simply going to click on the copy code, move back here and paste the JSON prompt over here and click on, oops, uh, the character limit is a bit higher than uh, what's compatible on the platform. So once again, we're gonna move back over to chat GPT and ask it to make sure the character limit is 2000 characters or less. 
So you can see now it's generated a character, uh, a new prompt for me and reduced the characters to under 2000. I'm going to copy this over, go back to imagine art and paste it over here. In this manner, my, uh, as you can see, my generation is, uh, the video is generating. Just going to hover back down and show Super you the result that I got in this. My pink hair. Thank you guys, this is the secret to my pink hair, vibrant chrome in neon rose. It's bold, long lasting, and honestly, I'm obsessed. Thank you guys. Right, in this manner, I've gotten this engaging, um, realistic UGC ad. Um, you can use the same workflow to generate UGC ads for your products. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. Thank you very much.